Eromo Sele Adene had been arrested on the 7th of November for criminal incitement, cyber stalking, and a breach of public peace. His court case was slated for Tuesday, the 17th of November, and saw tempers flare as chaos ensued when security operatives barred the protesters' family members and other supporters from gaining entrance into the courtroom. His court case was scheduled for 9 a.m., but there were no proceedings until 11 a.m. Adene was waiting for the court case to proceed. We approached him to gauge his thoughts, but the security operatives around him refused. Court adjourned the matter from yesterday to today to rule on the, on the application that has been argued before the court, and that's why we are here today. But you can see this, the atmosphere is a very terrible and serious one. Even the relative of the of the uh, of the suspect were being prevented from entering the court, and you can see what is causing. I met the assistant commissioner of police who led the security team here. I told him that just two persons who are relatives to the uh, suspect should be allowed in, but he said uh, he, he cannot uh, grant that uh, that request. So, and that's where we are. It's a slap on the face of the judiciary coming into the court and locking the gate of the court and saying lawyers we are locked outside, litigants we are locked outside, family members of defendants we are locked outside. Within a court premises, an independent arm of government, is a slap. It's a slap on the face of the judiciary. I, I feel bad. I feel ashamed as a lawyer. I took an oath to oppose justice. That was in 2012. And with what I've seen, this wasn't what I this wasn't what I signed up for. A day that will come that the police will so intimidate us, intimidate the public, intimidate the judiciary, come into a court and lock up the gate and say people can't go in and people can't go out. Where is that done? Which country? Having this court case alone is bad enough. Protest is a fundamental human right and we all know that. Everybody is standing with the rums. I'm standing with this Sorosuke generation. This is not the of the mic generation. This is the Sorosuke generation. We want a better Nigeria and we are not compromising that. They have to free a Roms Adene. Protest is fundamental human rights, and we are fully in support of Romoseli Adene. The old Nigeria youth, we are in support of Romoseli Adene. We are prepared to return actively to the streets should the Nigerian government fail to free Eroms and stop the attacks on people who had played conspicuous role during the protest, as you can see. Uh, look at what they are doing to the, the, the freezing accounts of a number of persons, putting people on no flight list, going around to abduct people from their homes. It's still happening. Eromo Sele is not the only person in jail as we speak. There is even Nicholas who is currently remanded at Ikoyi prison for his role in the NSAS, uh, in the NSAS police. There are a lot of persons, a lot of young people who have played this role and they are, and they are languishing in prison. So what we are saying clearly is straightforward. Apart from the legal practitioners, there were less than 40 spectators in the courtroom, while others watched through the open windows. Magistrate Folarin Williams mediated through the proceedings effortlessly, even though there was clamour by legal representatives to make their point and gave her ruling by midday. Victory for Adene. A one million naira bail and two sureties. The atmosphere in the courtroom was one of total euphoria. All the lawyers in this matter, especially the defense team, uh, the judge or the magistrate will salute her courage. We are of the belief that uh, she, came, she came to our ruling independently and courageously. Uh, you could see the antics of the prosecution, but the Honorable Magistrate managed to see through it that they have not presented enough material to make her or her court to deny him his fundamental rights. And uh, she followed the law. It's not enough to know the law, yes. but to have the courage to apply, to apply it. And that's what the judge, the magistrate has done in this regard. I think she's done very well. Okay. She was asking that there should be two shorties. There must be blood relations. There must be blood relations. There must be, there must be taxpayers. One of them must have a landed property. 
and then want to submit international passport. And I think the other person, to, and it's the court that will verify, not the police, and that is very, very important. So that the prosecution will not be funny, it's the court itself will verify. And we ask that pending why we perfect this bill, that is, it be taken to prison, it should just be with the police, and she granted it. That's fair enough. Although policemen attached to the State Criminal Investigation Department were seeking to remand Adene for an extra 30 days, the magistrate ruled against their application. So it came as no surprise when supporters booed the policemen as they left the court premises. Bukumbo Taiwo, Arise News, Lagos.